that's kind of where they build from. They allow Franco Escobar to get forward, but then Herrera and Artur are expected to do a little bit of both. They want to cover a sturdy presence in Michael Boxall stepping in against Tapias, who's been in the lineup for every single one of their games. Another outside back that loves to attack in DJ Taylor. They know so playing for just, uh, or starting for just the fourth time since his return from isolation. And away we go. Dan, you saw Minnesota United uh, lose 4-1 at home on Saturday night. Austin had very few chances, but they buried them. This is the best spell of the game thus far for the visitors. Reynoso directing traffic, lovely. Slipped inside ball for DJ Taylor. And Steve Clark had to react. That shot was goal bad. Longwane buries it. And the Loons have liftoff in Houston. Longwane, the top scorer of the South African, who's really shone this season. Some more sizzle from him. Well, this comes from DJ Taylor getting forward. He really creates a different dynamic for this Minnesota United team when he can advance. It's a good save from Steve Clark, puts it right in the middle of the field, and Thangwane is just wide open. Look at the composure that he has from eight yards out. Doesn't push it far enough. The rebound's just standing all alone. Once, twice, picks his pocket and sits it right in the top bin. Fantastic finish for Thongwane. But Lansfield finished 1-0. Riding the challenge there, much to the delight of the crowd was Escobar. Herrera trying to help it on. Bassi likewise. Oh, it was terrific. Everything but the finish. Aliou had to hook it instinctively at goal. Just wide. These connections, oh, what a touch from Amin Bassi. And Aliou takes this out of the air with Boxall draped all over his shoulder, but still gets enough of it not. Of course, Houston without uh, Coco Karaskia, who's goal cup action. Now Puki is on his way, Timo Puki. Oh, well, there's your world-class finishing ability out of nothing. Welcome to MLS. The Flying Finn is off and running. And the Loons have powered into a 2-0 lead. All season long, but this man right here, what did I tell you, he's a magician. He sees things in the back of his head, and to have a striker like this bearing down on you, that is a phenomenal finish from Temu Pok. He made it look almost routine, didn't he, Dan? Just simply picked his spot, didn't try and disguise it. Aliou, Quinone is off to the races. But he cut back into traffic where the defensive cover was awaiting. It's Herrera measuring it up. Couldn't quite get the shot to dip on the end of it. You have to have players that are willing to take players on one and one v one. And you have to go straight at them because you have to be able to break things down. It's a good bit of invention and Aliou may get the chance. Well, having tried the back heel to release Herrera, he got the bounce back in his direction. Clear shot at goal. He works his way back inside. Now Herrera, little pocket to work with, quickly closed down by Valentin, and then the shot from Bassi. And again on target, but lacking any real venom. Won't see any more of it on this attack. Courtesy of uh, Sviachenko, almost gives it away, and does, in fact. Puki has picked his pocket, Puki. Teeing it up, and it's Reynoso shots. Well, it wasn't Reynoso. You can see the frustration on Hassani Dotson's face, but Temu Puki picks his pocket. Sviachenko and looks for Reynoso, is making a great run, but Hassani Dotson felt a little bit of a chip on his shoulder, potentially expecting to start the game and earn some more minutes, but now he's got 45 plus to help pull the Houston Dynamo out of the hole that they sit in right now. There's going to be chances for the Dynamo in the second half. The question is, can they capitalize? Here's one for Artur. Oh, it's a great save. That is a splendid save from St. Clair, who had some routine stops to make in the first half. Nothing routine about that. But this is what the speed of Aliou can do. It opens up these pockets and these channels. Amin Bassi pulls. Rosales with nowhere to go for now, and he has it stripped away by Franco Ulfarsson. Now Aliou taking on DJ Taylor, has the beating of him, but not of Dane St. Clair. Had all the angles worked out. This dynamo pressure at the moment. Can they translate it 
into end product. Franco. Aliou driving for the byline again. Steris! What a chance. He finds himself in, but not as good of a position as Daniel Steris standing at the PK spot. Mende Garcia and Will Trapp also inserted. So all change, Emmanuel Reynoso. Now Garcia has a one-on-one -on -one matchup here against Escobar and help arriving to Chajori Shreddy to his right. Longwani to his left, who's open, could finish it here. Longwani denied, and Chajori Shreddy is there to finish it off and finish the Dynamo off in the process. Minnesota United's two big mid-season signings. Big goal here comes off of a throw-in for the Houston Dynamo, but this ball gets played out, and Mender Garcia does enough to keep possession. He's got Franco Escobar on his back heel, and Tajiri Shradi continues his run, but elects to go over to Thangwane. Big save from Steve Clark, but Tajiri Shradi off the schneid. And already scoring for Minnesota United, putting this game to bed 3-0 Minnesota. That's a big, big goal. For any Minnesota United fan out there, Tajiri Shradi, we talked about being a very shrewd signing. Herrera trying to spoil it with the corner. Bassi thinking about it, thought about it again, and came as close as anyone has tonight for the Dynamo, but it wasn't to be their night. Minnesota continued to be the hoodoo team for Houston.